Good afternoon, everyone. I got one word for you. Clutter. Imagine just stuff everywhere. You've got clutter in your desk, in your house, in your life. There's tons of clutter in so many people's lives. But have you ever thought about that clutter could actually be sabotaging your weight loss efforts? And that is what you definitely do not want. I'm Janice Thornton, and I'm an online body uh, transformation specialist, and I help empower you from the inside and the outside. And this is one of those areas where clutter is something that goes on inside. We physically have clutter uh, on our counters and things like that. At the same time, we've got clutter inside too, and all this stuff could be sabotaging your weight loss efforts. And I'm gonna be able to help you today and maybe give you some ideas of how to unclutter yourself. <clears throat> but I want you to think about it. Clutter, you really can't settle your mind down to focus. If you have a messy desk, you know, think about it when you have a messy desk, what's going on? I know when I have a messy desk, there is no way that I get hardly anything done because I can't even focus on anything. All I think about is all this crap that is around, around me and I can't focus on the task at hand. And there's times when I like literally, if I have what I consider a messy desk, I'm like, okay, stop what I'm doing because I got to clean everything first and then I can focus and move forward and get done what I wanted to get done for the day. <clears throat> uh, kitchen is your kitchen cluttered now the reason that I bring actually thought of this whole thing was earlier this week I went to Wisconsin to visit my mom and I actually grew up in a very very cluttered house my mom always said oh I'm just a pack rat and that she was for sure she was a pack rat no doubt however now I would consider her definitely a borderline hoarder now, not the kind that you actually see on TV, where it's stacks of crap are, you know, this high and you can't even walk on the floor. We still get to walk on the floor. However, every countertop, every table, every bed <laughs> literally has stacks of stuff everywhere. Her garage, her garage, good Lord. I mean, everything is stacked. She can fit her car in and that's about it to get in and out kind of crazy. Anyway, that's how I came, wanted to talk to you about clutter in your life and then sabotaging your weight loss. <clears throat> now think about it, if your kitchen's cluttered, go back to the kitchen. You know, I think of my mom's countertops. They're so full of so much stuff that, oh my God, she's not even able to cook any kind of healthy meal. Her really only option is to actually go out, get something unhealthy, and bring it home and eat it in the living room. Because she has nowhere to actually prepare any food or to cook anything. You know, her refrigerator is just full of stuff. That's expired food, uh, spoiled food. And if you have those kinds of things in your house, in your refrigerator, you know, get rid of it. Because it's this is one of the ways that you're sabotaging yourself from actually allowing yourself to lose weight. You don't have a good area to work in, to even think in, to give yourself what you need to be make your weight loss successful. Weight loss, yes, exercise and diet are a huge component of that. At the same time, oh my goodness, our mindset also really helps with losing weight too. When you really want it on a scale of one to 10, you're at a 10, like, yes, I wanna be losing weight, Let's do everything we possibly can to make you to be able to be successful. <clears throat> so think about it. You have increased clutter in your life that increases your stress, actually. When you have increased stress in your life, you have increased cortisol levels or hormone levels that are in your body. Those increased hormone levels cause you to overeat. And then when you start overeating, guess what? We gain weight. It's this vicious cycle that we can't ever get out of. And that's why I wanna be able to help you, if clutter is part of your life, help you get out of that cycle so that way you can be successful 
with your weight loss. Clutter causes confusion. It leads to disarray in your life and it does make weight loss a lot harder. You can't really focus on your goals with weight loss if you've got all this clutter going on in your life. And if you've got all this clutter, your mind continues to force you to overeat, over shop, hang on to stuff that you don't need. Your body won't be able to exercise and do what you want it to do to make you successful. You know, if your mind continues to be unhappy, overstressed, and unfocused, your drive to maintain your improvements is going to significantly decrease. And it's going to stay hard to stay motivated with your exercise and eating healthy. Again, if you have all this clutter, if you have all this activity in your life. But there's a couple things, you, I mean, there's a lot of things you can do. I'm just going to give you a few examples of a couple things that you can do. Um, you know, work with your mind, not against your mind. Um, avoid blindly following impulses. You know, when you think, oh, I've got a craving, I need to go fill it right now. Stop and think about what is going on right now with, with your mind um, that what's causing that craving. Stop and write it down. Come up with a plan of something else that you could do instead. Like when I want chocolate, instead of running to the refrigerator, what else can I try first? And you gotta come up with that. I can't tell you what to do. You have to come up with that yourself. Um, that might help stop that craving because a lot of times if you can go about 20 minutes without satisfying that craving, you're good to go. Drink For sure, drink some water. Um, observe what your mind is telling you, kind of what I talked about. You know, are there things that you can change? What is your mind telling you about that craving? Is there, again, something else that you can go do? A great thing, though, is to celebrate your successes. When it comes to this clutter, let's go back to the clutter. And let, you're telling, you're going to say, okay, Janice, I'm going to go work on my desk and cleaning up my desk. And you get part of your desk cleaned up or your whole desk cleaned up. Guess what? Celebrate that huge success. That is a big win for the day if you can uh, get yourself clutter free in your desk area so you can work better. If you cleaned out the refrigerator or threw away 10 bottles that expired in your refrigerator, yay, celebrate that stuff. So I'm going to stop here. I just want you to comment below your thoughts on clutter and weight loss. Kind of correlate if you're someone who does want to lose weight, how cluttered is your life? And let's see what kind of correlation that you have with your success with weight loss and a cluttered life. You know, if you'd like to uh, have more extensive work, I would love to work with you. I have a couple different programs that you can go through. Um, you can go to my website, JaniceRThornton.com, um, and you know, read about me. You can read about my story. You can read about um, how my different programs that I have for you. So I would love to work with you. Um, if you know you are looking for someone that you need someone to help you with your weight loss journey. So again, definitely thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I would love to hear your comments below. Have an amazing weekend. Thanks.